I am the new star here. Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today we want to introduce you to somebody that's just joined the family. And this is Evra. Evra is a cat that has been saved by my cousin who came to visit from London. Why Evra? I thought, Evra you said, I thought it was Aero. No, Evra is more local and it means money, means euros. Because she came on Christmas almost. We need money. We need money. Everyone uh, needs money. Okay, so first of all, the history is that your cousin called you up. Yes, she called me up one evening on 25th of... No, 26th. On of, Boxing Day. Uh, on Boxing Day. She called me and she was all upset and I didn't know what was going on. I thought there was a problem with kids or something. And then Can she I put said, my armor on you? And then she says she found... <laughs> she found a little cat and uh, she's been thrown out of my uncle's house and uh, she said she's gonna sleep on the street if I don't take the cat. Wait a minute, your uncle threw your cousin out? Yes. Why? Because, uh, because of the cat? Yes, because they're not, they're not allowing cats in the uh, in, uh, in flat. Okay, so she rang you up and then you said... She rang me up and then I said, oh God, I'm 22 kilometers away from Banja Luka. I'm in the village, can you call my mother and leave her in the flat? And then I'll pick her up in a day or two. So, and that's exactly what happened. And the cat is a, it's a tiny little machka, as you can see. She's three months old. We took her to the vet. Mm -hmm. She's got a she's got a weeping eye. She has uh, some sort of uh, viruses, and she was on call for a long time. So she's found in Banja Luka just before uh, Barik on the parking lot. Barik, by the way, is a suburb of yes. Banja Luka. Yes. So she got antibiotics. She's been dewormed, and she I have to put the drops in her eyes for for her runny eyes. Do you think it's, do you think we've done the right thing? And the reason I'm saying that is we have two dogs and three cats at the moment. So this is now cat number four. And do you know how much it costs? I know, but my cousin, she bought food for her. She says, I'm going to pay alimony. Alimony, is that how you say in English? Yeah, cat alimony. Cat alimony. Every month I'm going to send you the money. Just keep it, please. And I said, okay, this is going to be your cat living in Tadatani in my She's house. She's purring very much. But we much. don't need really any animals, but we just couldn't say no. And uh, my dad asked his friend because he needed the cats. He also lives in the village, but he, um, he, he found two kittens, so he has two cats. So look at the camera. You have to look at the camera. If you're going to be a vlogging cat, you have to look at the camera. Look, eh. look, eh. look at the camera. Look at the camera. I'll go behind him. <laughs> no, don't, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you might see this. We can still call her a kitten, right? She's still a kitten. She's three months old. And uh, in March, she's going to go to be nurtured after six months because she's a female. And we don't, and we don't subscribe we... to the fact that, you know, you have wild cats running around the village and then they mate and you know what happens. They just keep reproducing and reproducing and the whole problem just gets out of hand. So some people say it's cruel, but I, I actually think... I think it's a good thing to know your cats because and, uh, we have so many deserted animals and they have no home. And I want to say one thing. We always talk about good things about Bosnia Herzegovina, but one of the not so good things is cats and dogs don't really get a good life. Wild ones, do they? No. I think you're going but to. But there are so shot. many. But there are so many people that. Um, she smells gorgeous, actually. You should. If you've been putting on. There are so many people that uh, adapt now animals like me. See, see, see. She likes you. She likes me. Anyway, so that's our news for this and week. And we had an accident yesterday. My little puppy called Cooper cut his paw. So I have to watch him and see if he doesn't feel well. On Monday, I'm going to take, take him, him to the, the vet. He's, it's the, a big cat. David has a picture, so he's going to post somewhere. I'll, I'll somewhere put, I'll put the picture video. that we've got. He, well, it looks like he's been running. He goes out in the evening and patrols around the village and does what he's got to do. And we didn't realize till last night we were watching some crazy television movie. And um, I saw the blood in the house. And then there was and blood. I'm like, oh, yeah. what happened? And there's a cut. He's got a very deep cut in his pad. But the thing is, he's not whining, so it doesn't look like he's in too much pain. But you did all the yes, I took much the first day today. Yes, I did the ER. From I took ER. The ER. <laughs> I took the ER from the car, and I have to buy another box. Uh, and uh, I put some gauze, 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 and some uh, rivanoli because uh, somewhat. 
it's, or even only. It's the it's the yellow stuff that takes all the bacteria, kills the bacteria. Uh-huh. But before that, yeah. I spray it with Doctin Aseptic, and I wrap it up. So hopefully he'll be fine. He, he's not gonna get infected. But we'll watch it, and then if he's if he gets swollen or infected, or if he gets temperature, then we'll take him to the lab. So that's uh, our news for this week. That's this week's video, which is a little bit about introducing you to Evra. E-V-R-A, Evra. It's the new member of the family. So I know that cat videos always go down well. <laughs> and the final thing is, this today is the 29th yes. of December. How's your food coma? What food coma? I went into a food oh, coma. Oh, we are still, still nibbling. He's in a food coma. I'm not because I'm from here, so I can handle the meat. <laughs> you <laughs> can't, obviously. We are still nibbling the goods from the Christmas. So maybe next year I will make a little bit less. I think, I think you should. Or I will froze. You know. And it's all to happen again on the 7th of January. Yes. So that's it. Catch us next Sunday. Uh, don't forget to share, like, subscribe. And what do you call it? The. Don't forget to press the dingly dongly ding, which is a little bell that tells you when there's a new episode on. And don't forget that we post every Sunday. And uh, keep checking on Sundays and enjoy our vlogs. See you later. See you later. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Mm-hmm.